Hope you all ready for the Southern 250 at Darlington for the Gears Cup Series coming up next. Big shout out to Searing Matto, Garrison 1982, Loot Daddy 1225, and Virtual Veteran Racing for the most recent follow. are two minutes away from qualifying at Darlington. Getting you updated with the points and all that good shit coming up here next, right here at Casa de la Horse Boat.
All right, everyone, welcome to the program tonight for the Southern 250 right here at Darlington, right here on Casa de la Horseboat. I am Tom Torrey, a.k.a. The Horseboat, bringing you all the action here as we are high above Darlington Raceway from the MeAndYourMom.com Blimp Cam. Again, I am Tom Torrey, a.k.a. The Horseboat. Hopefully you're having a good Friday night just like I am. And we're here together to embark on the championship four that uh, that we're starting here tonight. Again, three rounds. We are in the final round, the final race of three. Darlington up next. Let's get you the points so you can see where we're at because everybody wants to know who's in the final round. In the final round, we have Van Drugman. Van Drugman, who has 85 playoff points to the good, 45 points back is Brad Gutierrez, 80 is Mike DeWalt, and the 999 of Justin Shoup, 85 points back. It's good to point out, or not good to point out, unfortunately tonight due to conflicts, Mike DeWalt is not in the field tonight. So, in turn, this becomes pretty much a three-dog race. Going into it, we had discussions of maybe, you know, conceding the position, giving it to Connor Rowe, who's in fifth. But we have determined that's not, that's just not the right way to do it. Whoever has earned the top four gets that top four, whether or not life conflicts are scheduled. So with that being said, this is your championship four, and we're happy to have them. It's going to be a great night of racing here tonight. We have just about 20 drivers here as we get set. For racing action right here at Darlington. Wanted to point out here tonight. Again, if you throw out a sub and you sub, you get three months of Discord Nitro for free with that. And I'll bring that up here later in the show. But again, if you do sub here tonight and your account is linked to your Discord, you will get three free months of Nitro just by subbing to the channel here tonight. Getting ad-free viewing, Discord Nitro and all the bullshit you can tolerate right here on Casa de la Horseboat. Going in to tonight again, October 18th, here we are, Darlington Raceway, Southern 250, 184 laps of wonderful, high-quality racing action next week. We're going to have 250 laps at Bristol Motor Speedway for a night race. And then November 1st at Las Vegas Motor Speedway, Gears presents the finale twenty. 24, and I can't believe we're we're already towards the end of the season. It felt like it's just yesterday we were just starting and we were in spring. As we fly high above the meandyourmom.com blimp cam, here's a little bit of race info for tonight's action. Again, this is not going to be an easy race by any means. This is going to be a day race. So it's going to be interesting how slick this track gets as we get further on into the night. Let's turn down this music and get ready for some action. As I mentioned, 184 laps, no stages or stage breaks, no fast repairs, six tire sets here tonight. Max fuel capacity of 70%. Van Drugman is the fastest in practice yet again. We'll let, uh, let the practice results here scroll on by. Last week's winner, Matthew Weeks up there as well. Trey Holmes, Jake Hall, Ethan Burrell, Brad Gutierrez, Nathan Fuller, Connor Rowe, Blake Schneider, and Justin Vanderwell. Again, we only have about just under 20. Darlington is like the broccoli of, this, of racetracks. Either uh, you like it or you hate it. But a little bit extra here tonight. Courtesy of the Gears Cup Series. The winner of the Southern 250 will win 50 bucks. Second place with 35 bucks. And third place will earn $15 here tonight. Courtesy of the Gears Cup Series. And the admin team. Again, as you can see the counter, we are ticking down the clock. 
and getting ready for some green flag action here. Coming up, qualifying up next. Grab a beverage and get set for qualifying. Thank you for hanging out here tonight. Again, the Gears Cup Series here on Casa de la Horseboat all season long. All 31 races so far have been covered in the books on our YouTube channel. Go check that out. Let's see if we can get a ride along with one of the championship four and see who can give us good taste what this track is like. Let's go with Connor Rowe. I know we have, we have him come around here a lot for qualifying, but it's only proper. Connor Rowe, one of the best drivers in gears. And again, that's we got Jeremy Peel in the house. Gears is great. But Connor, really one of the better drivers here in our field. Connor taking his warm up lap, coming across the start finish line to start his lap. Let's see what he's got. Again, in the beloved Midwest is Connor Rowe from Flat Rock, Indiana. Taking that number five all tell Chevrolet Camaro on the high side for lap one here at Darlington. Ooh, gets a little wobbly coming out of four. What's his first lap time going to be? Pole sitting right now with a 29.66. Second lap, trying to come out booming. On a four, here we go. And second lap, what it'll be. 29.46, he's gonna stay on the pull. Now we're gonna go to Van Drugman in the 45. Your points leader going into the championship four tonight with some legends on the hood of his car. This is his first lap. We'll see what he's got. 29.34. He said 29.46. Hold my beverage. Hold his root beer. He's a coming. Out of four, lap number two, will it be any better? It is, 29-16 for Van Drugman. Again, not surprising at all. Traumatizing it may be for the rest of the field. Let's see if we've got Justin Shoup. It looks like he's not out there yet or present. Justin Vanderbilt on the 78. We'll follow him around for a moment. See what he's got to offer us. Get a little music while we 
hang out together and enjoy the evening. Looks like 29.75 will be his best and good enough for a fastest. Matthew Weeks, last week's winner. See what he has in store. The 213 Simware machine, I believe that's what it is. Oh, no, I don't think it is. I'm lying to you now. Very well could be. I don't know that symbol very well. Matthew Weeks with his first time around. Let's see what he's got. Lap number one. Can't Google that. 29-25 putting himself on the outside of row one. And that's all he's going to do. He's going to put himself on the front row and call it good. But there you go. Matthew Weeks second. And then Van Drogman, your pole sitter right now. Jake Hall in the house tonight qualifying third. Connor Rowe, Trey Holmes, Brad Gutierrez, Jeremy Bial, Brandon Meyer. Justin Vandermorel and Travis Stroney. Only 12 have qualified here so far as we have just a couple more minutes left before, before qualifying concludes. Oh, it looks like it just finished, so we're going to be rolling over into the warm-up and getting ready for racing action at Darlington Raceway. As I mentioned before, and we'll say it again, we have 184 laps here tonight. No stage breaks at all, no fast repairs, and six tire sets. Max fuel capacity is 70%. The race time is in the afternoon with Darlington being the fixed setup. Again, nothing says Darlington without a Darlington stripe. And that's what we may see a few of our drivers earn early on. Again, I don't know how this race is going to go, ladies and gentlemen. It could go a couple different ways. I'm very excited regardless on how this plays out. Let's talk to somebody. There's literally nobody <laughs> in the chest tonight. So I'm going to bring him a main man person that I've really grown to love in my time at Gears. Got the 42 of Jeremy Beal. Jeremy, you got a copy? Yes, sir. Jeremy, Gears is great, my man. How are you feeling with your chances tonight? Looks like you qualified inside the top 10. And I feel good. I love Darlington. Uh, can never go wrong with this place. I mean, only 20 people, uh, roughly 20, have made the field tonight that makes your chances exponentially greater um how confident do you feel about bringing home the checkered flag Woo -wee, man we got some fast people in here now um and with this being the the first race of the, the final round of the playoffs man them guys are gonna be gonna be after it i'm just gonna try to make it to the checkered flag tonight and uh and and keep it clean man i, th I think that's what i'm what i'm shooting for here if you had to make a pick of the championship four of who you would want to win, who would it be? Ooh, Doesn't matter. Oh, Points. I, uh, Doesn't matter. Points don't matter. Oh, We're not talking about got, that. I gotta go. I gotta go with with the with my man Mikey. D Walt. D Walt again. Always the bridesmaid, never the bride. Looks like that's going to be the case again this year, as tonight he is out. Uh, I surprisingly, know, I know. Where surprisingly is he? out. He's actually got a work conflict, so he's going to be oh, out here tonight. Um, unfortunately for him, uh, hopefully he's tuning in from wherever his obligation is at, and oh, I'm uh, sure he is engaging with the rest of us. But I wish you the uh, best of luck, man. I'll put you in the broadcast waiting room. We'll keep you down there. Sweet, awesome, man. Jeremy Beal, possible in race record reporter here tonight. Thank you for your time. 100, percent no problem. Hell yeah. And that's my main man, Jeremy Bial. And we'll get one more guy in here if we can. Travis Stroney, do you have a copy? Loud and clear. How you doing? Loud and clear it is. He is hanging out. Had to get a new modem before this. Um, it, it how, how, are, scary. how are you scary. feeling? How are you feeling? Uh, now that I got the internet uh, connectivity issue settled, feeling good. Uh, Darlington, the lady in black. 
Um, mm, go feeling girlfriend. so good about. Yeah. You know, I was just no I wanted to bring you in here because later <clears> tonight <throat> after this race, you're going to see Travis Stroney, Jonathan Militia, Alex Tilly, which I know you haven't seen in a while on this channel tonight Long for some time. golf plus and VR. So I'm excited to have a few cocktails with the boys, talk post race stuff, and then uh, talk about life and why you don't have one. So let's let's get ready <laughs> for green flag action for the Southern 250. And I wish you the best of luck, brother. Thanks, Tommy. We'll talk to you soon. Talk to you soon. Again, that was Travis Stroney keeping it real with us, and we're gonna keep it real with you as we're getting set getting set to grid up for tonight's Southern. 250. Again, as we await these drivers to grid, I'd like to tell you tonight's winner of the race is going to win cool hard cash. $50 cash to be exact. Second place will earn 35. Third place will earn 15. Again, Gears providing that payout. Here tonight on the front row, you have the 45 of Van Drugman. Outside of him is going to be the 11 of Matthew Weeks. Row two, you have the 98 of Jake Hall and the five of Connor Rowe. Row three, you're going to have the 88 of Trey Holmes and the 84 of Brad Gutierrez. Row four is going to be the 42 of Jeremy Beal and the 33 of Brandon Meyer. Row five is going to have the 78 of Justin Vanderbilt and the 21 of Travis Stroney. In row six, you're going to have the 14 of Ethan Burrell on the inside. And on the outside, you're going to have the 24 of Nathan Fuller. Row seven, you're going to have the four of David Tuker and the 999 of Justin Shoup. Row eight on the inside, you have the seven of Joseph Enright. And the outside of him, the 448 of Tristan Acevedo. Row nine, you're going to have the 12 car of Robert Fitzpatrick Sr., and the 29 of Stephen Gurley Jr. And in the caboose in the Exide Batteries throwback, the 6 of Blake Schneider. As they are getting ready for the formation lap, I'm excited to be able to bring this to you this year, all year long. It's been a wonderful ride. With only a few more weeks left, we, Holiday Series going to be announced in the next couple of weeks. We're happy that uh, that's available. Again, we will bring that to you as we can. That off-season schedule will come out here in the next couple of weeks. Kind of get you where to tune in. I'll have some scheduled that I'll stream, but it's not likely I'm going to stream them all. So you're going to have to circle them on your on your calendar if you want to tune in to watch the horse boat and his friends. As we get ready again, this, this start of the race will be on the flag man, and the rest will be in the Geico restart zone. As Van Drugman with another pole... Another goal of winning double-digit races in this series set to begin tonight green, for the green, Southern green. 250 for the Gears Cup Series. Here we go, championship four playoff time. Again, if you know anything about Darlington, you know that the wall is preferred. Everybody single file and off to the races so far. Van Drugman going to lead lap number one. Jake Hall, Connor Rowe, Matthew Weeks, and Trey Holmes in your top five of Friday right along within the butt kick of beers and Trey Holmes. Again, it's a long race. You got a long way to go. You don't want to push it too bad too soon. Again, without any fast repairs, you're shit out of luck if you make a mistake. And that is the fear that I think a lot of people deal with coming to Darlington. It's you know, it's not a short track per se. 
but you're always riding on a very thin line on the outside. You hit that wall too hard, your night might be done. Oh, shoop into the wall there. 999 started in 14th, now in 13th, trying to make a run. Again, he's on the bottom half of that championship four. But he's going to do everything tonight, everything that he can to make up for it. Again, Mike DeWalt with a prior engagement out tonight. Stephen Gurley almost taking himself out early tonight. So big playoff implications, implications I should say, right there. Drugman, Hall, Rowan, Weeks. Your second place man, Brad Gutierrez, hanging around in fifth. And that Lowe's 84 Chevrolet. It's got a lot of ground to make up, but a big win and a big loss for Van Drugman would do him well tonight. Guy we just talked to moments ago before the race got started. Travis Stroney now up into sixth. Started in tenth, having a good run. You know, I won't tell him this to his face or online or in VR, but he's a damn, pretty damn good golfer. Rowe hitting the wall. Getting loose a little early. And let's, talk, let's look at Nathan Fuller's ride right now. Look at this. Normally, because back in the day I was a big Earnhardt fan, hated Jeff Gordon, you know, the whole dynamic. Getting that Rainbow Warrior DuPont 24 a good showing here tonight. Looking good in the flaming DuPont 24. Taking a look now at Ethan Burrell in the 14 Office Depot machine doing its thing. Again, he is a top 10 car every time he's out. Guy that we haven't talked about much in recent weeks is David Tucker. He got a win about a month ago, and that's the last we've heard of him as far as contention. You know, you always think a guy that can run up there is consistent, but maybe he's just a specialty guy. Only certain tracks he's fast at, kind of like myself. Not that nearly as good as he is, but there's some tracks that he's just damn good at. Jeremy Beal, who we spoke with on the pre-race show in the 42 Axe Body Spray 42. Chevrolet Camaro, I'm going to say 42 for the third time since I realized I said it twice anyway. Hanging around in 13th. Maybe just taking it easy as we're only 11 laps in of 184. Drugman not really getting away from anybody as the conga line follows him around, and that's going to be our first loose and loud coming up here. Courtesy of yours truly, the horse boat.
Bringing you back in now from the first loose and loud of the evening. Again, that was pretty awesome. Appreciated that a lot. Ryman says, good luck to the Freedom United guys. They're going to need it tonight, but your best Freedom United guy so far looks to beat Travis Stroni in the 21 in seventh currently. But right now, you have Van Drugman, Jake Hall. Matthew Weeks, Connor Rowan, Brad Gutierrez, your top five with Nathan Fuller, Travis Stroney, Trey Holmes, Ethan Burrell, and David Tuker rounding out your top ten. Again, Blake Schneider started in the caboose, now working his way up into 13th. Having a good race here so far. Just picking him off as he goes. For what it's worth, it would be awesome to see Blake Schneider get into victory lane here tonight. Go from last to first and win the race. That'd be dope. And a big Exide scheme, Exide battery scheme fan. So uh, I, I would definitely love that. Again, beautiful looking car. Big fan of the six and his team. Championship watch, 999 Justin Shoop in 14th currently. Again, second place man in the points is the 84, almost at 48, 84 Cobalt. Lowe's Chevy Camaro. We have been green flag racing this entire moment in time. Matthew Weeks to the inside of Jake Hall. Finders, keepers, losers, weepers. Taking that second spot away. Getting on the proverbial horse. It's quite awkward to go through one and two here at Darlington. Three and four, I think you could kind of, as a driver, you could fake your way through. But once you get to four, you think you're you're fine. But then it turns just a little bit more, and you're like, oh shit. But one and two, I think, is more of a challenge for me than it is three and four. But Van Drugman, Matthew Weeks, Jake Hall, Connor Rowe, Brad Gutierrez, your top five currently, and they're keeping it real. Nathan Fuller, Rocket Racing. Teammate of Connor Rose. Both trying to stay and play spoiler in tonight's action. Again, Van Drugman winning tonight, getting 10 wins on the year. And in reality, I do believe, unless catastrophically things change, he would be the champion. For the rest of the guys in the championship four, I think that has that's sunk in right when they made it. They're like, well, shit, this guy, especially to the 84 and their team, they're already 40 points back, 45 points back going into this round. So a good finish for the 45 team basically puts it out of reach. Now, I might be second guess or questioned by you, and that's fine because I don't do the points. But when I look at it, ooh, Connor Rowe hitting the wall yet again. He's really wearing in that Darlington stripe. But when it comes down to it, Van Drugman's just been that good. Now, some of the wins have been closer than others. Controversial at times. Chicago is one that first came to mind when I thought controversial. But it was a well-fought race. I didn't see anything wrong with that. I love a good drama, especially on a road course or, in that case, a street course. <coughs> Pardon me. But the big thing is, Drugman is just in a league of his own. There's people out there that 
think like maybe this kid's cheating. Maybe maybe he's got hacks. I don't think that's the case. I just think he puts in the time. He understands the cars. He understands the cars on the runs. Maybe he he does a little bit more because he has maybe that just that that much more time. He's young. He's a young guy. Either way, though, he has shown on almost any track, any given Friday night, that he could put all four tires down or nothing up near the front at the end of the night. And that's big hats off to the 45, and we beat your favorite driver, Motorsports. Matthew Weeks in second has good distance on the 98 of Jake Hall. Connor Rowe and Jake Hall had a little mini battle brewing here in the last lap or two, but it's kind of faded. Let's see what other love connections we can find. Here we go. This is for fifth between Trey Holmes, Nate Fuller, and Ethan Burrell. Nice little pissing match. Now, Ethan Burrell, and I'm just going to put it nicely, is almost double the I rating than these two guys. But they are just as fast. I look at I rating and I look at safety rating, and I kind of toss them both out. It, it's dependent upon the track and the driver's ability. I rating kind of tells a story, but it doesn't tell the whole story. Unless you're under a thousand, then I got questions. I got a lot of questions for you. If you're under a thousand I rating and under 2.50 safety rating, we gotta talk. I know there's somebody that is on our admin team that would beg to argue with me about this at length, I would imagine. But at the end of the day, man, it's just all about, like, if you're under a 1,000, there's, there's a problem. Got to look in the mirror, bro. Look in the mirror. Van Drugman, Matthew Weeks, Jake Hall, Connor Rowe, and Trey Holmes, your top five. Again, there's a lot of spread out action all across the track, forcing me to make up whatever pops into my mind for a conversational piece for this live broadcast. But that's okay, Darlington is actually one of my favorite tracks. I, I'm not good at it by any means. I just like how it's shaped, how the how the turns, every turn is different. It's like Indianapolis. Like Indianapolis, you think every corner is the same. It really isn't. Looking on board now from the sixth of Blake Schneider. Let's go up to Justin Vandermorel. Let's see what's going on with him. No, we'll go with Jeremy Beal. No, Justin Vandermorel. That's, that's better. I don't even know anymore. Brad Gutierrez, here we go. Fighting that 78 Denver Matra Chevrolet for 10th. Jeremy Beal has moved up to 9th. We are 35 laps in of 184. Pit stops will be happening, I would imagine, pretty soon. I didn't get the pit window report this week. That's okay. We'll make shit up as we go. Again, a lot of good green flag action right here across the table. Horse boat. Bringing you the Gears Cup Series. Again, round Again, this will round three, the championship four, race one of three. Race three, oh, we got action. Jake Hall and Trey Holmes. Jake Hall with the love tap. Backing off, everything is okay, everybody is fine. Nobody ask any questions. Jake Hall now has been passed by Ethan Burrell. And losing momentum, dropping two spots all the way down into six now. David Tuker giving the back bumper of Jake Hall. Them P. Diddy eyes break out the baby oil. Because I'm coming.
leave Usher alone. I just want to say that. Leave Usher alone. Okay? Van Drugman, Matthew Weeks, Trey Holmes, Connor Rowe. Look at this battle for third right now. Ethan Burrell in fifth, but this is a dogfight. Oh, Rowe hitting the wall. Burrell getting out of the way just in case. But that right side of the five has got to got to get him some optional time in the pits here. Oh, and he's loose. He has fallen apart, folks. Oh, Jake Hall giving him a little bump going to the inside. It's like blood in the water. The sharks smell it and they attack. Rose seems to have everything together for now, but let's ride on the 98 of Jake Hall and see what he's got to see on that Clemson machine. Just want to reiterate to anybody watching who hasn't subbed, if you sub here tonight, you get three months of Discord Nitro for free, including in that sub here tonight. So all you have to do is sub for one month, drop off, and you get that three months for free. We are so close. Webboy 12 with the follow, bringing us to the 502. Thank you so much for that. Hell yeah. But again, you get that sub, and we got a yellow flag. Where is it? Oh, it's Vander Morrell and the seven of Joseph Enright. Let's back that ass up and see what we can see on the Gears Cup Series Instant Replay powered by meandyourmom.com. Okay, it looks like these guys, we were in an epic two-way. Go from the blimp cam, see what we can see. Oh, big run had by Joseph Enright. Gets down low. And, yeah, oh, wow. Yeah, I don't think there was anything, you know, evil intended for that. But definitely one of those things where people are going for the same spot. Yeah, he was looking to let it roll off the corner wide. Maybe he thought he could clear the 78 in time. I don't know. Webboy12 says these elite guys running against the bums. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. It's just it's Darlington. You know, Darlington is not a track where I think anybody would circle on their calendar and be like, yep, I got this. There's only, you know, I would I would say a minority that would feel that way in racing the race oval, but who knows? But again, there you go. That is the gist of it. And let's ride on board with the 78 of Justin Vanderbilt and just See how fast that really happened here. Give me just one moment. I'll find him for you. Here we go. And bingo. And what do you do? Like, Corey LaJoy theme scheme and uh, Corey LaJoy things. You know what I mean? And there you go, there you have it. Pit road action happening right now. Looks like they're gonna get a fresh four and get back out there. Came up into seven, came up to him, nowhere near clear. Yeah, I agree with that. I think seven just went to let it ride and it was not, what, it rideable? Is that what we're just gonna say? I'm gonna say that. But caution number one, it's been a great race here so far. So if you're just tuning in, we're getting into the thick of it. Kinky. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Hopefully y'all are having a beverage Monday night. Got a race for you. For the Donut Box Cup Series. Circuit of the America's Grand Prix right here. At 8.10 Eastern, 7.10 Central right here on Monday night. Your destination 
for racing on Monday night. Again, Donut Box Cup Series right here at Casa de la Horseboat. Monday nights right here on Twitch. First caution of the night. Van Drugman leading the way. Again, 46 of 184 laps complete. Starting to get into the meat and potatoes of this evening's love affair. And while we're hanging out, next week is the second to last race of the season. Bristol Motor Speedway for the Bass Pro Shops night race, 250 laps on October 25th, right here at Casa de la Horse, but hopefully you'll tune in for that. Again, doing a quick points check since we have the time to do it. Coming into tonight, this was it. Starting in the championship four, again, round of three, race one of three. So pay attention to those numbers. Again, Mike DeWalt should be noted not here tonight. Nine car not in the field with a work-related engagement. Sucks for him, but it's all right now, right here. As Drugman, Weeks, Holmes, Rowe, Burrell, Hall, Tuker, Beal, Schneider, and Fuller round out our top ten as we get ready to go back to green flag racing. See Matthew Weeks there in that second spot. I know as a broadcast you shouldn't call that shit out, but he is blinking. Like shitty 90s techno. Van Drugman having control of the Geico restart zone. We're going to get back at it for the Southern 250 for the Gears Cup Series right here on Casa de la Horsebo. Leading the way has leaded, or leaded, led every single lap here so far. Fresh four and gasoline. They are back at it. Got to say that 11 car has been hanging in there all night long. I don't know if he's just hanging out or if he's got anything for him. We'll find out here later in the race. But Drugman, Weeks, Holmes, Rowe, and Burrell all have been up here all night long. Jake Hall, Nathan Fuller, David Tuker, and Justin Schupig, shout out to him. Rising from that Coors Banquet Beers 999 machine. You know that Shoop is giving it his all here tonight. He's worked hard for this. Again, a lot of a lot of leagues in iRacing racing in general, they don't run really long schedules. We're one of the few. We're the minority. I would I would feel in that regard. But I think, oh, Jake Hall eating shit. Bouncing off that front stretch inside wall. Let's see what happened here with him. And just banging doors and hitting the floor as he has hit ground zero with that 98 machine. And that is too bad. He had a fast car all night. 
So unfortunately, that's one of the first casualties, major casualties. As it looks like he's still continuing to run. But he's going to limp along as we go through this race. Van Drogman, Matthew Weeks, Connor Rowe, Trey Holmes, Ethan Burrell, your top five with David Duker, Nathan Fuller, Justin Shoup, Brad Gutierrez, and Jeremy Bial. Rounding out your top ten. Again, don't forget, after the post-race show, we're going to take a short break. Let us regain our focus. Travis Stroni, Alex Tilly, and Jonathan Militia has, have been so gracious to join me for some Golf Plus and VR coming up next. I hope to stream that so you can hear the hilarity that has ensued when you get us all together. It's a... Uh, it's a nightmare of laughs. I'm afraid I'm going to wake up Saturday morning in the doghouse. I don't know, man. I, I love one of the funniest guys, I think. I think that group in general, they're some of the funniest people I have ever met. So if you're into good comedy into here, just people talking shit, having a good time, we're going to talk about this race. Talk about life. Maybe get a little intimate in a non-sexual fashion. Right along with one of the participants, Travis Stroni. Again, there's been some really fun conversations that we've had that we've regretted that we haven't streamed. So I told the guys I'm gonna figure this out. We're gonna we're gonna work on it, we're gonna make it happen. So we'll see if I can make that come to life tonight. Kind of like Toy Story, but not as cool. Brandon Meyer, again, your Sprocket Series champion. Running around in 12th place right now. It is nice to see the 33 in action. Single file we go, and this is going to bring us up to our second loose and loud of the night. Courtesy of the Gears Cup Series in their payout tonight.
position. Yellow flag. And as luck would have it, we have another caution. And it looks like Trey Holmes involved in that. Let's see what happened with the MeetYourMom.com instant replay powered. By MeetYourMom.com. Here we go with Justin Troop and Trey Holmes. On the bumper, and Shoop sent him around. I don't know if he sent him on purpose, obviously, but it looks like just a bit outside and spun the 88 around. Let's ride on board with the 999 of Justin Shoop just to gather what may have happened. Yeah, it looks like he was slowed down, slowed down a lot. And the car in front of Holmes really didn't give. Maybe he was just that much slower, I don't know. Well, let's use the blimp cam here and see what we have. Yeah, it looks like the four of David Tuker there. Looks like Shoop went in hard, kind of bumped him up into the four, and then give him the old heave-ho, we'll get out of my way. Definitely something that probably could have been avoided, but I don't know, you know? That's why I'm up here and there down there. And that is our second caution of the evening. And bringing us out of our second loose and loud of the night. Again, if you got nothing going on Monday night, Monday night we have the Circuit of the Americas Grand Prix for the Donut Box Cup Series. Monday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central Time, only here on Casa de la Horseboat. Giving you the Donut Box Cup Series all season long on Monday nights. Tune in and find out what they're all about. Great name for a series, great people to work with. And hats off to the Donut Box Racing League. Again, 66 of 184 in the books. You could say we're about a third of the way through of the night. And let's check in with our in-race reporter, the 42 of Jeremy Beal. Jeremy, you got a copy. Copy that. You got me? Yeah, I do. I do. Rolling around in third place. How has the track felt? Has it been kind of slick where you guys are getting loose, or is it kind of tight where you're kind of plowing? Tell us. Give us a scoop. Uh, it's a little, it's a little bit of both, man. Uh, the run for me kind of starts a little tight. Um, after about 15 laps, then I start getting a little loose. Then I start to tighten back up. And around, for me, around 30 laps is when the car really feels good. That that first run we had there, that was awesome. Now I gotta ask you as well, how have the comms been with these incidents? Have everybody been pretty calm and collected, um, or has it been emotional? Uh, it's been a little bit of both. This last one here, um, uh, there's a little bit of controversy with this one. So, um, oh, I could see right that now, for real. Uh, yeah, for right now, there, there, there's a little bit of back and forth, but I love it. I love it when there's a lot of drama on the line. And it looks like Shoop's going to take that EOL. Am I right? Yes, yes, yep. He decided to take it. He's got to take it. I think he's Pro at fault. That's my opinion, and I'm sticking yep. to it. I speculate, yep, yep. but that, that's how I feel. Again, Jeremy, we'll let you get back to it. And thank you for being our special in-race reporter here tonight. Heck yeah, man, all night. Jeremy Beal giving us some insight as we get back to go green flag racing here. With Van Drugman, Ethan Burrell, Jeremy Beal, Connor Rowe, Brad Gutierrez. Matthew Weeks, David Tuker, Brandon Meyer, Stephen Gurley, and Blake Schneider rounding out your top ten. Again, normally I wouldn't talk or call anybody out on that, but it looks like he just he went in hard. You can see it on the replay. Kind of just pushed everybody out of the way. So I'm sticking with it. Don't call me out on it. I don't even if you did, I don't care. Green, green, That's where green. I feel. Brand Drugman leading us off, and we're back at it for the Southern 250. Web Boy says comms are not good. LOL. Funny to hear it all, though. He put that nicely. Yeah. Jeremy is pretty good at putting it and making it politically correct for TV or 
streaming. Again, we're not officially, officially sponsored by anybody here, so we can say pretty much whatever we want. See Shoop going on the offensive here, going to the inside of teammate of Travis Stroni. But, you know, that one you could kind of tell what happened there. So we're going to move forward. It's going to be I. We'll see the 999, I am sure, before the end of this one. Again, Drugman has led almost every single lap. And big shout out to Van. Van would be the first driver ever in Gears Cup Series history to win double digit races. He'd also be the youngest to win double digit races. So it's kind of two folded here if this were to happen tonight. Webboy says, goes back to my statement how the elite guys are struggling racing the not so competent guys. I would say, I wouldn't say competent, rather, as there is. Excuse me. Burped there a little bit. There's, oh, wow. Stephen Gurley getting loose with collecting his thoughts and his car. Looks like he will be all right. Ethan Burrell taking over the lead. I think Van Drugman just handing the baton over to him for a while. But again, I think there's a skill gap. There's some guys who are really, really good that hang out up here all the time. You see them constantly. Then you have other guys who are mid to the rear of the pack. And they're also decent drivers. They're not bad drivers. They're just not in the same level as some of these guys. And we understand that. I think they understand that. They keep showing up every week. So obviously, I think they know a little bit how it's going. But at the end of the day, some of these drivers have really grown. Some of those back, those guys in mid to rear drivers have really grown that contend at certain tracks. But when you get specialty tracks, especially something like Darlington, the good guys are going to be solid. And Ethan Burrell is up front leading laps here in the 14 Office Depot machine for the first time tonight. Connor Rowe going to the inside of the 45. And I believe the 45 is just kind of hanging out right now. If you know anything about Elliot Drummond, or, excuse me, Van Drugman, almost said his... His other name that he used to go by. Van is just an extremely talented guy. I think he knows that. But there's a double-edged sword about laying back, too. He gets caught up in anything. This could be big trouble for him. Ethan Burrell, Connor Rowe, Matthew Weeks, Van Drugman, and Brad Gutierrez, your top five. David Tucker, Brandon Meyer, Jeremy Beal, Blake Schneider, and Nathan Fuller rounding out your top 10. Big shout out to Blake Schneider. Started in 20th, now up into 10th in that Exide Batteries number six Ford Mustang. And having a good time doing it to the inside of Jeremy Beal right now. Try right it on board with the six. Oh, we got action up front. Ethan Burrell around. We look away for a fucking second, and that's what happens. Let's back that ass up and see what we can see on the Gears Cup Series Instant Replay, powered by meandyourmom.com. Connor Rowe, Ethan Burrell. Connor Rowe obviously going to probably be a part of this one. Oh, yeah, and that was, I would attribute that to Netcode. Let's back it up. You be the judge in the chat. I mean, yes and no. I don't know. Let's go on the hood cam of Connor Rowe. No, it looks like he made contact. Put him around his big old nose. Yeah, you could kind of tell that kind of happened really fast. And again, I don't think there's evil intent involved, but I do believe that as we can see here, it looks like he got wobbly a little bit loose out of four. And the five's like, hey, nice rear corner panel. Boom. Good night. And you see the 14 go around in the office depot car. Again, that is unfortunate for Ethan Burrell. Looks like Burrell, if we can back it up a little bit to see if he kept it off the wall. Oh, he might have just tagged it. Yeah, ooh. I don't know if that'll hurt him too much. He's definitely going to come in and get it checked out. Connor Rowe 
Bro, send no shot, man. Yeah, I know. Hey, man, I try to give people the benefit of the doubt. Like, you can't can't automatically assume, but I, I'm, I don't think that one was net code. Row, Weeks, Gutierrez, Tucker, and Meyer, your top five. Schneider, Vandermorel, Gurley, Fuller, and Drugman, your top ten. Too nice, brother. Hey, I try to keep it professional and a little bit of satire with a little bit of sarcasm. Seems like a lot of these fellows. I mean, I don't, I don't wouldn't necessarily put it like that. It is a little bit of a different group. If you have a beverage, I would imagine you might want to do that now. Have a drink of it now, because I'm going to do that. I do agree, though, that I don't think it was net code. But Connor Rowe ain't folding. It looks like he's not going to take an EOL. He's not going to take blame for that. And that's, and that's what we've kind of gone to with as far as raise penalties. If you call yourself out and say, hey, my bad. They're like, all right, we're going to be an EOL. Next time we'll hold you. Next time we'll boot you. But if he doesn't do that, it goes to race review. They do review all of these races post-race. Go back, issue penalties, all that stuff. And, of course, I don't think it was intentional by any means. He just kind of got loose and then ended up tagging him one last time in that left rear corner pattern. But I digress. Take a beverage, a little drink. We'll get back at it in just a moment here for the Gears Cup Series in the Southern 250 here at Darlington. Looks like Connor Rowe is accepting his fate, taking the EOL. Again, that'll serve him better in the long run. But as we get back to green flag action, Matthew Weeks and Brad Gutierrez, row one. Brandon Meyer, David Tucker, row two. Justin Vandermeer, Blake Schneider, row three, with Stephen Gurley Jr. and Van Drugman, row four. Rounding out your top ten, and in the top, or excuse me, row five, and in the top ten, Jeremy Bial and Nathan Fuller. The 11 car now having control in the Geico restart zone. We're going to get back at it for the Southern 250 right green here, flag, flag. right now. Good start from the 11. David Tucker in tow, ready to go. And six tire sets, so you do have a little bit of play. Oh, oh, Holmes. Row, shoot, all involved. Oh my God, what has happened here? Connor Rowe going to the outside, passing Fitzpatrick. Tight racing up in front of him. Holmes and Shoop connect. And out go the lights for Trey Holmes yet again. Going backwards in the wrong direction as we pick up another caution here. And that is unfortunate. And folks, you know what this calls for? A short commercial break from our sponsors. Right here at Casa de la Horseboat on Twitch.tv.
Bringing you back in now for the Southern 250. Just about set to get back to green flag racing. Again, a little altercation there between Trey Holmes and Justin Shoup. Looks like we're all good in the hood. In race reporter Jeremy Beal. I don't know what he's doing right now, but Jeremy. Yes, sir. Getting a little contentious there in the chat or what? Woo-wee, these boys are sweating out here. It is getting a little sweaty, a little emo. But we're gonna hang in there with you, man. I, I I hate to hear that it's not going so well, but you know what? It is what it is when it comes to Darlington. Not everybody has the schmeat to do it, but we'll get back to green flag action. We're gonna let you go. Jeremy Beal, I didn't know we were going back green flag action, but we are. Weeks, Tucker, Vanderbilt, Gutierrez, Drugman, Schneider, Beal, Fuller, Burrell, and Shoup rounding out your top 10 as we're gonna get back at it here very, very shortly. Again, smaller field tonight, but I believe that is just because that is Darlington. Not a lot of people roll with this. I mean, I would because it is fun. I'm just not great at it. Matthew Weeks in the 11 car having control on the Geico restart flag. zone. We are back at it for the Southern 250. I think this day and age, most people would love a reality a TV show. We have another yellow flag. Who could it be? Ye, who could it be? And honestly, I don't know who it could be because I don't see anybody that's wrecked. Looks like they're gonna catch up to the pace car. Something's going on as far as maybe race control wise. I'm not sure, don't don't quote me on that. But we'll play some music and hang out again tonight. Don't forget Golf Plus and VR. You're gonna see the 21 of Travis Stroni, the 69 of Jonathan Militia and then Alex Tilly joining the program tonight. For some golf, you're going to have the view from my POV. So uh, it should be fun if I can figure out how this works. Again, just about halfway home, if you've been keeping score. Next week is gonna be Bristol, and then the Gears presents the finale. I've got a couple of guests on the show. I'm gonna to reveal to you now the pizza man, Brayton Laster has committed to the event. So I'm looking forward to having him in the booth for the second year in a row for the finale. Again, if you don't know who Brayton Laster is, go ahead and look him up on Twitter or X. Look him up on Google. He is the pizza man. One of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. And a guy that you'd want to get behind, and I'm not meaning sexually, but as far as sponsorship-wise, get behind. 
to support. Great personality and great for racing. Brayton Laster joining us for Gears Presents Finality 2024. November 1st at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. <laughs> oh my God. I, I, so I'm DMing with a couple friends of mine here. Trying to see if I get some people in the booth, right? Dude goes, I am hammered. I am sloshed. I am hovering the can. I'd love to join you, but I'm just too wasted. Now, I'm not saying quoting. I'm, I'm kind of making it up as go. Just popped in. How's the race been? Great. Up until about 10 minutes ago, and then we have back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back cautions. But other than that, the race has been bueno. Good green flag racing. Van Drugman has led a lot of the laps here, but after the first, or excuse me, the second caution, he's kind of fallen back into fifth. We're getting ready to go back to green flag action. Matthew Weeks, David Tucker, Vander Morrell, Brad Gutierrez, Van Drugman, Jeremy Beal, Ethan Burrell, Blake Schneider, Nathan Fuller, and Travis Stroni rounding out your top 10. Oh, Breezy just gave out one community sub, giving him three months free of Nitro on Discord. We are almost there, folks. We're almost there to 20 subs again. You sub here tonight on the show. You get three months free of Discord Nitro. And if you use Nitro, this might be advantageous for you to do that. But that is what we have. Again, Matthew Weeks having control inside of the Geico Restart Zone. As we get back to green flag racing right here on Casa de la Horse, but pace car is off. And hopefully y'all are having a great Friday night. I am as well. Jay Breezy, you are the man. Flag. Thank you for the gift. And we are back at it, Green Flag Racing. Weeks out with a good restart. Tuker right there as well. Vandermeer, Gutierrez, and Drugman in tow. And Darlington, a tricky, tricky course come out and bite you when you're feeling too comfortable. And one of those tracks where I think people love to hate it and people hate to love it. Weeks, Tuker, Gutierrez, Vanderbilt, and Drugman. Jay Breeze said, hope of y'all were in here watching me catch the tub on Monday. I believe there was a couple, I would imagine. That was a great race Monday night. Looking forward to Coda. Coda might be a little, you know, not bueno. I should say not bueno, but I should say not as action filled, especially if you get spread out. But we'll give you all the battles, all the action that you can for the Donut Box Cup Series on Monday night. Again, my experiences with road courses, they could be really good. Really kind of, or you know, you got little battles all over the track you kind of got to pay attention to, which isn't boring in any regard. It just makes for a race where they're like, huh, there's no crashes. If you're in for the crashes, that may not be it. But we've had our fair share of road courses here in gears. Matthew Weeks, David Tucker, Brad Gutierrez, Van Drugman, and Justin Vanderbilt, your top five, Ethan Burrell, Blake Schneider, Nathan Fuller, Connor Rowe, and Jeremy Beal rounding out your top 10. Jay Breezy says, I think I have a decent shot at going back to back. We will see. If you could run Coda, dude, that would be awesome. I would love to see you go back to back. In such a diverse way, too. Rowe hitting the wall again. Beal trying to make the pass again to the inside. Not going to be good enough right now. Going to have to come back to it. Single file. Again, Van Drugman hanging out in fourth. Your leader in that upper deck. Legendary machine. Machine. 
running in fourth place. Breezy used to not be able to run a lap. Now I'm pretty competitive. Hey, that's the growth that you see from some people that can do it. I would say that some of my friends who are actually honest with people would tell them that I was terrible on console. I am 10, a million, I would say 100 times better on iRacing than I was on console. Whoa, we got some action back here with Van Burrell and Burrell. Schneider watching. Fuller trying to make something happen here. But iRacing is just fun. It's a fun sim to play. And the more you do it, the better you are with your car stability and, and, and awareness of where your car is on the track. Ninety-seven of 184 complete. Over halfway home. These guys have been putting it down. Had a few cautions here and there. But they've been working it, girlfriend. Working hard for the money. Get tonight. Winner of this race gets 50 bucks. Second place gets 35. And third place gets 15. Guardians baseball, there you go. Hopefully they don't go down three to one. But I'm rooting for you. Go Cleveland. Matthew Wiggs, David Tucker, Brad Gutierrez, Van Drugman, and Ethan Burrell, your top five, Justin Van Burrell. Blake Snyder, Nathan Fuller, Connor Rowe, and Travis Stroni rounding out your top 10. Here is the onboard of the 21 T-Stros, Lawn Care, trimming your bush, 21 machine. Again, a participant in the other stream we're gonna have tonight with VR Golf. 18 holes of hilarity. Looking forward to that. And I hope you are too. And Matthew Weeks having almost a little bit, of, almost a second on the four of David Tucker. Holding off Brad Gutierrez and Van Drugman right now. We have 84 laps to go, coming across the line, 83 laps to go. Darlington considered a crown jewel. And those by the admin body here at Gears. Gotta have that crown jewel money. That is awesome. Jay Breezy tonight gifting a sub to Aeroplane 9001. I haven't seen Aeroplane in a minute, but appreciated the gifted sub. That goes a long way here. Well, Matthew Weeks, David Tucker, Van Drugman, Brad Gutierrez, and Ethan Burrell, your top five. With Blake Schneider, Nathan Fuller, Connor Rowe, Travis Stroni, and Jeremy Beal rounding out your top ten. Here is a battle for ninth right now between Stroni and Beal. Looks like Rowe, I believe, hit the wall coming out of four there. 
Beal trying to get back into rhythm. Looks like 42 got a little loose, 21 backed off. Creating that separation. Looking further on back, looks like everybody's spread out respectively. Justin Shoup now back in 14th. Trying to climb and ascend back up to the front of the field. That penalty really put him in a bad position. Brandon Meyer bouncing off the wall in two. Surrendering the position of 13th to Justin Shoup. Stephen Gurley Jr. just outside the top 10 and 12th right now with that 29 machine. Making a strong appearance. Started 18th, now up to 12th. It's a good night so far for the 2019. Biggest mover of the night is the six of Blake Schneider riding the rim, doing some rimming out of turn four. And that next side battery is number six, side by side with Connor Rowe for position. They're gonna get back in a straight line and down the road they go. And as I digress, we're gonna get into one more losing loud on a third one of the night. To you, to the fans, we appreciate your love and support. And here is a loose and loud courtesy of the fans.
again from a loose and loud. I got Tristan Acevedo, who was in the race and then has since retired. Tristan, thank you for joining us here. Um, I don't know what we're going to talk about, but I thought I'd just bring it in anyways because somebody else is too hammered. Matthew Weeks, Ben Drugman, David Zucker, Brad Gutierrez, Ethan Burrell, your top five. Tristan, currently in 17th. Are you coming back or are you done? Nah, I'm done. Uh, my VR is you know, disconnected from my PC. And I'm going to pop up, so I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to get any better than this. I'm just going to go ahead and exit out. But I'll tell you what. Um, the 999 of Justin Soup and the 88 of Trey Holmes, that was entertaining <laughs> to listen to. Like, I, had to, I was just reaching for popcorn that wasn't there. I mean, it was great. <laughs> I wish I had. I, see, that's what I look forward to, like, Gears Freaks every weekend. Unfortunately, we're not doing that any anymore the rest of the way. But that would have been a great wow. one for Gears Freaks, I would imagine. Oh, it would have been for sure. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Yeah. Matthew Weeks now trying to hold off the 45 of Ben Drugman. Drugman wants his throne back. Do you think he gets the win number 10 tonight? Look, Weeks is not going to make it easy on him. Man. He, everyone goes into every race thinking Drugman's the one to beat. I mean, every every week, every week. So he's not going to let it easy. He's like, you know, you've won enough. It's my turn, man. Uh, yeah. That's that's probably what's going on, but man, it's it's so hard to keep Elliot behind you. I mean, really, if it I wasn't, mean, if it wasn't, uh, he wouldn't have as many wins as he does. So. Yeah, absolutely, and there he goes for the pass for the lead. He is now your leader and smacking the wall a little bit, getting that, you know, coveted Darlington strike. Yeah. Uh, we, got, we got a couple guys here that I do believe is are strong cars, but not strong enough for the win. The 84 being of Brad Gutierrez in that conversation. Yeah, and earlier in the race, uh, Brad, he sounded like he was flat out ready to give up. And now some flame has lit un under uh, his ass, and he's ready to go get it, man. I mean, he was up there for, I guess he had now. Um, for third, he's somewhere around there. Right I mean, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, now he's up there in the top five. Right? He was he was pretty defeated back in like I'd say probably 14th or so. And I mean, oh, into the wall he goes. Um, but man, just what well resilience to keep on going. Yeah, he definitely has. Oh, row in the wall coming out of four. Oh, Gutierrez yes. definitely has. I think he has the it factor when it comes to the the look and feel test. He's the, he's the kind of guy that goes with the flow of the race. He seems to be a top 10 car every race. Makes him very competitive with a field um, that kind of is filtered as far as skill level. So he's up near the top of the group, trying to hold on to third. Jeremy Beal on the assault. Let's ride on board with him just for a moment. Beal goes to the inside, going to hop back in the line. Not much of a battle to be had at the moment. I thought there was going to be some more. We cross the line here, coming up 126 of 184 in the bank. Looks like Brad yeah, Gutierrez is going to pull, pull off and hit the pits, as is Matthew Weeks. So I do believe there's a short pit situation going on. See Matthew Just Weeks and see Brad Gutierrez both out. in the pits, as well as Blake Schneider from, I do believe, this lap as well, or the previous lap. Yeah, and just one more thing on the Brad Gutierrez. Yeah, uh, go topic. ahead. He's he's floor. just one of those he's just one of those guys who he might not start off the race strong, but by the end of it, he's gonna figure it out. He's gonna be there at the top ten, just giving hell, just going after it, and it's really awesome to see. See him maybe mid pack, and then all of a sudden, boom, he's there. He's ready to go. And, you know, it's just really, really inspiring to watch him just go at it, man. And now he's here competing for a championship against Drummond, and, man, it's going to be entertaining all the way to the final race. It is not an easy task. Again, a solid finish from Van Drugman. A win, I do believe, pretty much seals the deal. Um, but a solid finish here tonight. Make close the books on this season as a whole. Again, Van Drugman would be the youngest to reach double-digit victories. 
as well as being the first to get double digit victories. So that, that is super crazy stat. Setting the bar high in our, I do believe our third or our fourth season. Yeah, for the I rest mean, of the he's week. just, he's on a different level, man. I mean, the amount of time that he puts into this, the amount of practice that goes into every single week, he is just so good at every race. Every, you can never count that 45 car out. When he's on the track, you best believe he's going to be right there for the win. Oh, sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. Big shout out to my homeboy, Jeremy Beal, up into second, our in-race reporter. Wow. Getting the job done again. There might be a short pit situation. Who gives a shit? He's up into second place. What a run by him. Just like Brad, he was back in, in the team. Now look at him running up here in second. Just an amazing effort. To just get up there and just run your race. Don't give up and just keep on pushing it. Just wow, what's speeding up for it too hard? Ethan Burrell now getting past by Travis Stroney, which I believe is a lap down due to pitting. Again, we are, which is awesome, we are starting to experience another pit cycle. And man, calling Matt Albert, he loves this strategy stuff, man. Wow, it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Apparently, Matt Albert has massive diarrhea. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Maybe. I mean, he might. He, he quit kind of ghost on this thing. You can be the judge. Be the judge. I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> you can be the judge. I don't know. Van Drogman, Jeremy Beal, Ethan Burrell, Connor Rowe, Nathan Fuller, your top five. Justin Shoup, Stephen Gurley Jr., David Tucker, Matthew Weeks, and Blake Schneider rounding out your top ten again. Don't forget, Monday night, Donut Box Cup Series action, Circuit of the Americas Grand Prix, 40 laps of sweet, sweet racing action right here. Your destination for Monday night racing right here in Casa de la Horseboat. Yeah, for sure, everyone tuned in if you're uh, free. It's going to be a great time. Only if you're free. If you cost anything, I can't pay you for that. <laughs> Van Drugman out in front. Your pole sitter sitting high upon his perch. Trying to go for win number 10 tonight. Win number 10, that certainly makes people feel, I don't know, a little weird. A little weird. Yeah, I don't know. That weird, but a little weird. <laughs> That's tough. Van Drugman again looking to make history tonight. And he is well upon his way. Again, 135 of 184 in the bag. Best advice. Start drinking heavily. Again, he's underage, so I will do it for him if he wins tonight. Chug, 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 chug. <laughs> well, I'm gonna take shots all evening long. Van Drogman, Connor Rowe, Nathan Fuller, Justin Shoup, Stephen Gurley Jr., your top five. Big shout out to Gurley. Gurley running in the top five. Wow. Only the Lord could have imagined it. Here he is. Making yeah, it happen we to talk the Amon Gerbach 29 machine. What were you going to say yeah, there? We, talk, we, we talked about Brad and um, Jeremy. Man. Gurley, he's right there with him. I mean, he was back there, back of the pack. I mean, he was behind me uh, trying to get past me. Uh, man, just look at him go. I mean, he has figured something out. Hard, hard to front now. Look at uh, him go. Do we go know if indeed. the front guys have the pit? Yeah, it looks like Van oh, Drugman in pit. the pits right now. Connor Rowe heading in the pits right now. As well, Justin Shoup, if he doesn't pit, will assume the lead. Those yeah, points are important. He's going to gonna stick with it and stay out at least one more lap to get those points. Oh, man. That was a tight race in there. Just, wow. Absolutely. Guys get it. Again, points ever so important during this pit cycle. Shoop gaining those points that he desperately needs. 
Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see where Dragon falls uh, falls compared to Brad Gutierrez and uh, Weeks. Everybody on a little bit different of pit cycle. Matthew Weeks and Brad Gutierrez on the same pit cycle. But it looks like Brad may have had to serve a penalty or something because he's back in oh. the game. While Ethan Burrell is up into eighth. So I'm not sure if that had anything to do with it as the 84 hits the wall. But there's yeah, something I know there. That, I know that coming off of pit road is a little bit jerky. Like there's something about it. You can get um unsafe pit exit really easily. Uh, Justin Shoop, excuse me, I apologize for cutting in on your good. statement, is going to pit. Curly Jr. assuming the lead, getting some bonus points for leading a lap. Wow. Hats off to the 29 team, doing it right here tonight. Even if they're not contending for a championship, they let a lap. Yeah, and uh, Steven, I know he's a pretty popular guy. Throughout race, racing. There he goes. Wow. Or David Tucker going to assume the lead. Matthew Weeks right there as well. Matthew Weeks says, "Hold my beer, David Tucker. I'm taking the lead." Now the question is, can he? Can he hold it for the rest of the race? Can, uh, His name you know, is Matthew Weeks, and can he clap those cheeks? That is the question that me and Tristan Acevedo are going to try to figure out as we get to the conclusion of this broadcast. And I don't know how much time he has, so I don't want to hold you. we got better things to do. But I appreciate you having on the channel. I think our first time having you in the booth outside of yeah. finishing some place. Yeah, man. Thank you for having me on here. It was a very fun game to commentate. Uh, I love doing oh, yeah. it uh, when I can. So, you know, this was definitely a cool experience and uh, it'll be interesting to see how it Ooh, and we got another special guest, Mike DeWall, going to be joining us in the booth in approximately 15 minutes. So, that's yeah, going to be nice. Into, uh, stick around, and enjoy so that. Listen. Maybe I'll have Mike DeWall in the booth and talk shit about us. Like, well, golf. we are a bit here. <laughs> I don't know. You, do you have Golf Plus? I know you have VR. I do not. Is it free? It, well, it cost. I think the initial buy is like thirty bucks. But if you play with friends who have like the pass and stuff like that, you don't have to pay for any courses. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. It is a great time. I own it on the Oculus Quest 2. Again, Travis Stoney, Jonathan Malicia, Alex Tully joining me after this race here tonight. If I can figure it out, we're going to stream it tonight. I think I have. But we'll find out here after this one. Again, Matthew Weeks, your leader. David Tucker, Van Drugman, Ethan Burrell, Blake Schneider, your top five. Justin Vanderell, Jeremy Beal, Brandon Meyer, Travis Stroney, and Nathan Fuller rounding out your top 10. Connor Rowe just on the outside looking in, being put a lap down by Matthew Weeks. Again, the five is a fighter, man. I don't think he's going out without a bang. Yeah, I mean, just earlier today, we thought he could be potentially racing for a championship here. Yeah. Hey, he looks like he is. I mean, he is just hard charging right now, just going after it. Just what a guy. Now, I think if things were different, I think we would have given that to him, but... Um, we, we didn't have to walk it back just because we made a statement. Whoever makes it in the championship four, they've earned that. They're getting that. They're not conceding that to anybody else. So uh, as we initially decided that it was going to be Connor Rowe, we had to rescind that. Um, but obviously we wish we could have just because of how competitive he is. So big hats off for Connor Rowe, Rocket Racing, all they've done all season to be competitive. Uh, but again, could not just extend that olive branch uh, based on, on our admin team and, and what we've come to do. Caution, yellow flag. Yeah, he needs caution. to. Oh. It looks like Robert Fitzpatrick Sr. and Travis Stroney getting to a little bit of a dust up. So you can find on the meandyourmom.com instant replay again for the Gears <laughs> Cup Series. Can Travis Stroney getting loose out of four across the start finish line trying Looks like in the low lane, coming up, oh, nice side up by forward, side, though. and it takes two to tango, and they definitely tango. The one, two, and the two, one getting into each other. 
making sweet love, but apparently not Ooh. having a baby. <laughs> not, not a pleasant looking one, for sure. that's for sure. Yeah, definitely <laughs> falling from every branch of the ugly tree. Yeah, Robert yeah, Fitzpatrick Sr. is probably like, dude, what, what, what the fuck are you doing? I think Travis might also be thinking that. I mean, Robert kind of went both a little bit them. low there. Yeah. I mean, both of them, I, I think, you know, should have had presence in mind. Looks like they were going for the same spot. Like, Travis I was going to so. go up to try to ride a little bit of higher line because, you know, if you ride the lower line around here, it's not going to benefit you. Um, and Robert, maybe not. I mean, if anything, Robert was at full speed, so I think he has the right of way if we're if we're calling it like we see it. I mean, but again, that is up things. to race review and nothing malicious in that regard. Everybody's coming down to pit lane. Wonder what you're getting here, Tristan. You're getting two or you're getting gas? What are you doing? I think it depends where you're at. If you're Brad Gutierrez, you got to take two. You've got to try to flip something and figure out how can I save my race. If you're someone like uh, Weeks or Drugman, I think you might want to take four here and just, you know, you're already up there at the front. You might as well. You know who we should ask, you Tristan? Here. You know what we should ask? The 42 of Jeremy think. Beal. Jeremy Beal, what are you doing? You getting gas, you getting tires? What are you doing? I'm getting a little bit of both, brother. <laughs> you said that every How the hell does that work? tonight. Get off the fence. It was a joke. You're supposed I'm to on laugh it. at that. <laughs> I'm on it. I'm on it. <laughs> He's on the fence. Jeremy, a little bit of love, a little bit of both here tonight. You're inside the top ten. Jeremy, how you feeling? Man, I feel good. Um, I really get fast the the longer the run goes on, but right when we get a, a run going, man, uh, you know, we get an old big yeller out. So, Boogie um, man. Yeah, I feel good, though. Um, I just can't get the speed on, on like, the first 15 laps, man. I, I need about 15 laps to really get going. Um, so, hopefully I can hold my own on this restart here to hold this uh, track position. We'll see what happens. Well, I appreciate it again. One of my favorite subscribers, Jeremy Beal, lurking and twerking, running around inside the top 10, doing his thing. Have a good one. I'm going to green. Coming to green. I'm going to play his patented. I'm going to play that again, sponsored by Jeremy Beal. Let's talk to one more person, Brad Gutierrez. Brad, you got us. Yes, sir. Brad, you've been running around up near the front all night long. Back to 12th here, coming to the restart. How are you feeling as we come back to green flag racing? Nah, I have not been running up front the entire time. This, this race has been miserable for me for some reason. Uh, I guess I that, mean, you've that had hurricane. highs and lows, brother, but you've been up near <laughs> yeah. as high as fourth. I consider that the front. So how are you going to do it to try to get us out of the top five? Well, I got to get the wave around here. I got a speeding pin on the penalty under that green flag cycle so oh, we'll see man. if we can uh we can get the wave around here and if we can then we'll be back in the game if we can't then it's pretty much game over definitely hope you get the reach around and i wish you the best of luck brad thank you man appreciate it you're welcome hopefully he appreciates that comedy as i try to give it to him straight that's what she said <laughs> justin shoop you have a copy yes sir Justin, you're in 11th right now in 10 seconds or less. How you feeling? Do you think you can get up inside the top five? No, absolutely terrible. Uh, ever since the 88 jumped me intentionally, my car has been absolute dog water, and we've been fighting it the entire time. Dog water it is, Justin. I wish you the best of luck, brother. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Probably not the guy I should have asked to bring in, but, hey, that's the risk you take. <laughs> When you are in broadcasting, Ethan Burrell, Matthew Weeks on the front row, David Tucker and Van Drugman, row two, Jeremy Peel, Blake Schneider, row three, Brandon Meyer, David Fuller, row four, and row five, rounding out the top ten, and Justin Van Rout and Connor Rowe. Again, Tristan Acevedo in the boots with me as I am Tom Torrey, a.k.a. The Horse Boat. Giving you guys all the action. 502 followers. We have reached over fucking 500. That is amazing. Yeah, and I point out to you that this board, uh, you have as many followers as Daytona has, or Daytona 500 has miles. Green, green, green. That is, hot. That is hot. We are back at it. Ethan Burrell leading us off. 
Oh shit, we have 503k Davis 67 gears following this minute, yo. I think I know who that is. Wow. Did your account get banned or some shit? I don't know. Oh man, do Weeks get loose out of two, keeping it together on the hair of his chin and chin chin and joining us miraculously. Oh, now Maybe he's not. not. Maybe not. <laughs> he decided, <laughs> fuck it, I'm out. Man, a 14 oh, is, is pulling away. Holy crap. Ethan Burrell pulling away and having a good time doing <laughs> Bringing in Mike to wall. Mike, go ahead. You and Tristan talk for a moment. What's up? Ho hope this is an awesome race so far. Uh, it was awesome when I was in it. It's awesome now when I'm commentating it. Uh, just to fill you in, the 88 and the 99 are uh, beefing more than Arby's right now. <laughs> or they were. Man, look at the 14 go win this race. I mean, where did he come from? Just a where did he come from? Just a minute goes Weeks versus Drugman. And now the 14 has come out of nowhere and just gone. I mean, he has pulled away on this restart and Vandal. Uh, what I'm seeing is Far away. If he can hold on to it. Maybe he's a little bit of next gen ear blocking. He's just he's, he's got the lead. So for, for those that just joined, including me, how would you summarize this race so far? I think you summarized it very well. It's kind of very interesting. It's uh, last little bit here. I kind of lost strategy, which is love. Matt Albert. Man, it's just can we sort off directly and run me catch boots? Burrell has been near the front, Matthew Weeks near the front, Brent, uh, David Tucker up near the front as well. Connor Rowe has been bouncing from second all the way as far back as the 12th. Justin Shoup has been up to the front a couple laps has moved back all the way to 12th. Back here. He's been as high as fourth, now in 11th current. Michael, I'll let you have the floor for a second. Maybe. <laughs> Man, Weeks is charging hard right now on this 14. Can he hold him off? Can he pass him? What's going to happen? Here. Oh, we got one lead. Oh! Saw a white card with a four. I'll show you who that was. Man, Weeks is hard charging. Oh, what's going to happen here? Oh, it's a very tricky place to pass. With the laps winding down, can Weeks close this out? Can Drugman track down Weeks in the 14? And how about the four car in third? Yeah, David Tucker usually usually pretty fast along with his his friends there in the top three. Here goes Weeks. And, and man, Tucker he joined this lead and he immediately fell on speed. I mean. It's so impressive. The yellow flag is out. Started going fast. <laughs> oh, we got action. Oh! Here goes Nathan Fuller around in the straightaway. And caution oh, is out. No. Caution is out. All right. Not yeah, sure what happened back. there. Let's back that ass up. There's your white Ford. <laughs> There's that white Ford again. I love that point. Exide battery throwback, though, man. Oh, yeah. Fuller to the inside. Yeah, Schneider like the just comes off too. a little loose off of four. Like, he got a good run. But ended up almost, it's like that, darling. You know, you're on the high side. You get that really nice Whoa! run. Almost too much. Collecting the 24. Yeah. Looked, like, uh, looked like his buddy there may not have... Uh... Going all the way up to the wall. Yeah, a little too to much something. blue chew. A little too much blue chew oh, on that one. Oh, man. <laughs> he's, dropping, he's dropping some sponsorship. Foreshadowing, as it were. 
Let's see the five card here. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, Blake Schneider in the wall comes down, takes Fuller with him. Rowe keeps it off the inside wall. Looks like he'll be oh, what, what a great job. Ooh. What a great job by Connor Rowe. That was amazing. Can we get a, an onboard of the six here? I'm kind of curious. Yeah, we can we can do that. Give me a second. I got to back that request, ass up. Tom? I guess yeah, I'm taking a request up. right now. Return of the Mac. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just curious. Com. Like, here we go. Loose? Riding on the onboard with the six. We'll back that ass up just a little here. bit more. A little bit of twerking. Here we go. He's on the back stretch. In the wall. Ever so gently touching the wall and then taking the 24 along for a no bueno ride that Fuller would sign up for. And that's all it, it takes. Does he have yeah. cats? Maybe cats. But what, what a Mike. paint scheme. Both those guys, those paint schemes right. are amazing. Oh, What's going on, Tom? How can I help? K Davis 67 gear says, Mike, what the heck happened to you? He wants to know. <laughs> tell the fans what the people want to know. Well, you know, just like anything else, I had a, a failed drug test, got suspended for this race. Oh, shit. <laughs> I did not expect that uh, at all. <laughs> <laughs> just a PED, you know what I mean? AJ Allmendinger edition. He took a substance uh, so, which he did not know. <laughs> yeah. Some, it's one of those, like, non. Substance. Like non-political, like whatever. Like I did not know. I regret that, but I did not know. <laughs> yeah, just typical, you know, playoff drama. But no, I, I am gutted. This girl at this concert had some clover cigarettes. He tried it. <laughs> it wasn't clover cigarettes. Smokey says, "Wait, yeah. they're drug tests. I'm cooked, boys." <laughs> this is the only Darlington race we have on the schedule, so I am. I'm really sad. I can't be out there tonight. Just had a, a conflict. At the same time, um, but you know, it's it the is what it is. Scene. It, I was busy with my OnlyFans, of course. At the BBC. same time, but um, I'm I'm glad that everybody's having a good time, good race. It looks like, um, you know, it's Darlington though, so it's that's one of my I wouldn't say favorite racetracks, but it's definitely one that you know you can really separate yourself from other drivers just because it's such a driver's racetrack. You kind of know how to, have to know how to drive it, so. Um, you know, I wish him the best for Connor out there. Looks like he's in the, I mean, he might be a lap down. I don't know if he's lucky dog, but you know, I, I wish, I wish I was out there competing, but, he's not now. No. but, uh, you know, there's not that many drivers in this race. I could still collect some points. Um, you know, he's got two more races after this, so you never know what's going to happen. I'm still in the top four, so we'll, we'll see what we can do the rest of the way. Matthew Weeks and Van Drugman on row one. Connor Rowe, David Tuka, row two. Ethan Morell and Jeremy Bial, row three. Justin Vanderbilt, Nathan Fuller, row four. And Brad Gutierrez with Justin Shoup rounding out your top ten. I got to tell you, the Justin Shoup interview, I don't know if you heard that. Definitely something you may want to check out when when you play it back here later. Um, definitely funny. Definitely worth the listen. That doesn't surprise me. No, very passionate is the 999 and his team. Must be all the banquet beers, keeping them classy. Matthew Weeks having control of the Geico restart zone when we get back to green flag action. Again, Van Drugman going to be or going to try to be and set history tonight for being the youngest driver in gears to get double-digit wins in one season. Again, the youngest ever to get nine wins in one season. Set green flag, history green with flag. every win going forward. Matthew Weeks leading us off of the Geico restart zone. We are booming, as Antonio Brown would say, after the CTE. <laughs> that was good. Make sure you drink your drinks with your pinkies up. Get bougie in this bitch. Matthew Weeks, Ethan Burrell, Van Drugman, Connor Rowe, and David Cooker. Your top five with Justin Van Burrell, Brad Gutierrez, Justin Shoup, Nathan Fuller, and Jeremy Beal. Rounding out your top ten again, Mike. I know we had a quick summary of what happened. Early on, we had a long green flag run to the point where we were having pin cycles. And then we ran into a, a three or four caution 
bunch, I want to say, you know. Um, I may be exaggerating on the cautions. It may be one less or two less than that, but it felt like three or four. Um, and then coming to this point now, it's been very competitive. We had another pit cycle uh, come through. It's been a great night so far as far as racing action. Yeah, it looks like uh, Connor Rose actually on the lead lap. I apologize. He is right in the thick of it, and that's good to see. Uh, so hopefully Rocket Racing can take home the dub here. He's right in position. Get in the wall a little bit there, but everybody's doing that. He's doing it a lot. He's doing it a lot, to be fair. Um, but, you know, we did discuss what happened as far as the championship four, um, how it was conceded, and then we're like, no, we're not going to do that. So Connor Rowe technically not in the championship four, um, but a guy that I think we could all agree on in the booth tonight being near the top as far as Gears Elite. A hard driver to pass and a fun driver to race alongside. Yeah, yeah one is, okay. Sorry, I was just going to say, I mean, one of the biggest things for Gears this year, it's a long season, 33 races, one of the biggest attributes is availability, right? And he's started right. almost every single race. He's been there. He's been collecting top fives, top tens all year. Um, you know, he just missed out on the top four last week, but he's out here he's still competing at a high level. And I want to make it clear, yeah. like, nobody hates on his personality whatsoever. He is hard as a motherfucker in the past. Like, we've seen him over the season as you watch these races back. When you see the camera on Connor Rowe, people trying to pass him, it's hard, dude. He makes it. He can take all those lanes up on you and not give up that track position and still be fast. And that's pretty remarkable um, in this series. Yeah, he needs to use this right here. One position away from being in the top four, he's used as motivation for next year. Absolutely. To get that close. He knows he can get that close. He knows he can probably get there. He's got to use that as motivation. Right you, know, you talk about him being hard to pass. He's also hard to keep behind you. And that's just Absolutely. incredible Absolutely. racecraft. He's, he's, a, he's a really great talent here. And he's going to do a lot of good things. And a guy who you may not agree with, but you'll defend his right to the death to feel the way that he feels. He's a damn good driver. He's stubborn as shit. <laughs> but you got to love him. Oh, David Tuker almost took him out. Hey. Maybe, you know, some sort of oh, dang, I'm freak. Sorry. Oh, man. I don't even know if that was contact. I think that was just maybe the rear brake, too much rear brake in it. I don't know. Or maybe he was driving too far in and hit the brakes too hard. I don't know. But it didn't even look like it was contact, but it definitely could have been that close. Yeah. Keep an eye on that baby four. He is here. He is in the mix now. Keep an eye on him right there battling for four. Brad Gutierrez feeling down a little bit in our last interview with him. But, again, he's got a good car. I think he, he's just trying to be humble, trying to keep himself grounded. He's got to finish in front of Van Drugman, but it doesn't look like that will happen. But he's got to do the best that he can, and he is going to continue again. Moving around, David Cooper to take fifth place, now working on the five of Connor wow. Rowe. That was a power move. Power move right there. Man, 12 I love that laps to go. By the way. That scheme is really great. Let's focus our attention right now. Back up to the front, Ethan Burrell trying to track down Matthew Weeks. Matthew Weeks, last week's winner, trying to go back to back. Ethan Burrell trying to spoil that party and even further still, the 45 of Van Drugman is right there, ready to pounce with the Michael Jordan upper deck 45 machine. Not yeah, surprising. Yeah, got fourth there. And uh, man, Drugman, he is just waiting. You're just waiting on him to make a Chris Buescher type move and just fly by both of these guys. <laughs> That's exactly right. That might ex be exactly what's gonna happen. Just like Darlington in the spring in, in real life, you're gonna get these guys side by side and then the 45 is going to play the role of, um, I believe, I don't know if it was a Brad or Chris. In that but let's talk about this. Let's talk about this just for a split second as we're approaching 10 laps to go. Ethan Burrell going to the inside, trying to challenge for the lead. Do you think these guys, with their amount of expertise, do they let Van Drugman do that? Well, it's going to happen. I think it's going to It's just a matter of time. It's going to happen right here. I'll four next time. Man, he got close there. He got yeah, real close to that 14's right back bumper. Like y'all are talking, I'm like, he's about to do it. <laughs> yeah, I think it's gonna happen this lap. Let's see. 
He's waiting. I'm trying to and Van Gogh this shit, and he's trying to push it forward. Like, get the fuck out of here. Watch him go three and wide bottom right here. He's not going to do so it. He's going to stick in the line on the outside. Nine laps to go. Man, he's just waiting. He's just Pharrell waiting on that opportunity. The two with the numbers in the center of their cars on a next-gen NASCAR. <laughs> the only Great two point. in the field. Look at this. Look this is incredible. This. That 84 is creeping on up here. Just Don't look oh, at it. Oh, we got something. Caution. We Yellow got flag. some action, Jackson. Van Drugman. Oh, oh, boy. <laughs> you guys oh, are late man. for that. We are, so late. That's that. we are late. That's a caution. That's a caution. That's a caution. Gregor Tierra is a second. That is a caution. Hey, that's just heart racing right there. Ethan Burrell going for a ride for the second time tonight. As Van Drugman's like, hey, here's here's Man. my root beer. That looked like some deck, but I'm not going to lie. Let's check it out. Riding on board is Van Drugman. Van Drugman bounced off the wall and was already grinding with the 14 by the time the 14 went around both of them i think you can both i mean honestly you guys they're both going for it right now i mean they understand oh, yeah. i think they understand realistically what's happening here going around three and four and me and your mom.com blimp cam giving you all the action you can you can take again promo code dvda for 50 percent off your first purchase yeah, I'm with 45 in the 14, 45 in the wall, 14 going with them. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, that there. Says, that's you. just very unfortunate. That is unfortunate. I'm pretty like sure we got He's getting the reach around. <laughs> trying to keep the people entertained, yeah. Mike. Hopefully you can understand that on the playback. Yeah, but like, look who's look who's lurking right there. I mean, you got the four car back there, but you got the eighty four in position yet again. He can make up some points on the forty five right here. And let's especially talk if something about happens. This. Yeah, let's talk about the forty five. That's subject to race review if he doesn't claim responsibility. That's true. That's true. And he's already kind of in the doghouse. He is totally the line folks i don't and think anybody who's an, who is a, is a fan of of gears who just watches the races doesn't really know what happens with the penalty system the 45 is towing a line because he doesn't try to work off his penalties so in doing that really puts him in jeopardy every week anything that he does is more magnified because he doesn't make the effort to work things off so that is subject to race review. I'm not going to speculate on that caution because, honestly, I don't care. But at the same time, these guys, the guys who do the reviews, that is an important one to review, and I'm not going to get into that and speculate. That's just not where I'm at. Earlier in the race, hell yeah, I'm going to tell you what I think because some of that shit was pretty apparent. But that one, I think you could go either way, and I'm going to leave that to the minds and gears of the Gears admin team. To the experts. To the experts. The Mel Kuypers yeah. of NASCAR. Yeah, the South Park like detectives racing. of the world. Hey, what yeah, about that twenty dollars? Like the Alpha and the Omegas. Or the Beta. Maybe not, maybe not that far. You got some Beta fish. The bitches be know Beta. You, I don't know what you're saying anymore. Great is gears. Gears is great. K Day. I don't know what I'm talking about either. Getting ready for that <laughs> VR golf stream. <laughs> Mike, you might have to Bob Listen. Costas that shit. I'll keep the broadcast booth open, and you can just talk shit about us the entire time. <laughs> yeah, guys, uh, if you haven't picked up yet, Tom is. Yeah, if you haven't picked up yet, Tom is just dying to go play the balls right now. No, what? no, that's not what we're doing. <laughs> we, hey, we, let's dial I up that 42 you into this car. Champ. Yeah, let's, let's dial him up one more time. One more time. <laughs> Jeremy Beal, Jeremy, how you doing, buddy? Looks like you're riding around in sixth. Cranking in for a top five. How are you feeling, Mr. Beal? Man, I am feeling good. I really wanted that run to go out. Um, I was really starting to, to turn some fast laps there, but it is what it is. We'll see what uh see what I can do with a little quick little three lap shootout. Hopefully it's the only one. In case you end up being a loser, man. who you want to give a shout Thanks, out man. to? Five seconds or less, uh, go. 
Uh, I want to give a shout out to my family. Um, Gears is great, and we are. And we ran out of time getting ready for green flag <laughs> racing. Matthew Weeks, Van Drake, and Greg with the airs, David Duker, Jeremy Field, Justin Van Morel. That's egregious. That's egregious moment right there. I am done. I was trying to be funny. It worked. Here we go. Five laps to go for the green Gears flag, Cup Series. Green of flag. Subject 250 at Darlington. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Matthew Weeks out in front like a hurt. Turtles at 84, shredding the gnar, keeping it straight. 42 shredding the gnar, the eating shit and in the inside wall in the back stretch. <laughs> that is unfortunate for the 42. And That's the not what he wanted. That is definitely. Yeah, I said we need to get him back in here. What are y'all about? What are hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't want to fuck with him when he's already down. Yeah, it looks like no, Fuller hit him in. and then shoot. And it looks like let's Shoot finished in. him off. All right, let's bring it back in. <laughs> Jeremy Beale, sorry that happened to you as we're watching it back right now. What happened? Uh, I'll be in the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> With a bath so bomb good. that's silver and maybe has a breadcrumbs in it. Did you say breadcrumbs? <laughs> Did you uh, say breadcrumbs? Took a lick. I will be in the bathtub. There's no safer barrier Hopefully down there. not with a plugged-in toaster. Jeremy, I do feel bad <laughs> that that happened to you. How's your um, back, man? That was a hard lick. Yeah, that, yeah, was, that was a hard a, lick. That was a hard hit. Um, How's your vertebrae? Uh, I feel good. I feel everything. Yeah, guys, he's getting concussions and uh, symptoms. you got to get him to the hospital. He's in the two attack the Ebola protocol oh, yeah. for concussions. He got connected with the 24 there, but, you know, it's hard racing. Jeremy, we're going to keep you in the booth. Do you feel like it, or do you want to be by yourself? Do you want some Do you want some alone time? No, I'm good. I'm all, Everything's fine. All right. Yeah. He is perfectly fine, so he says. We'll talk to his therapist in the morning. <laughs> everything's great. Everything is You're fantastic <laughs> according the to thing. the medication. Matthew Weeks, <laughs> Van Drugman, David Tucker, Brad Gutierrez, Justin Vanderbilt again. In the booth with me right now is Tristan Acevedo, Mike DeWalt, and Jeremy Beal. Again, thank you guys for giving your time. I know that's probably, uh, you guys don't realize that, but it's probably one of the most important things you can get. So I do appreciate you coming into the booth and having fun here as we are getting to the conclusion of this race. This is going to be a green white checkers, the first one of the night here at Darlington, and one that I think we all could have imagined this would happen. Absolutely, 100%. Darlington, one of those racetracks where I can say, I called it like broccoli. Either you love to hate it or you hate to love it. Either way, you got a little cheese on that broccoli, you make it tolerable. <laughs> and that's what some of these drivers have been able to do tonight, Mike. What the fuck was that? <laughs> All right, that was good. That was good. Good stuff, Tom. Dude. Love it or hate it, that's Brad. how I talk. I'm sorry. I know we talked a lot about him, but Brad Gutierrez, I mean. Gooch? Just wow. Back and forth, all the way to the front, all the way to the back, all the way to the front. He's incredible right now. Just the way he keeps getting his way into this position. I mean, he's just right here with them all. He's ready to go. And, man, just the resilience of this man. You know, you, you don't see any good year on any of the right side tires on any of these cars. Are you serious? <laughs> Well, no, I, I'm not, but you know, I'm just referencing the fact they've all been <laughs> in the wall so many times. Kev, uh, K. Attitude. Davis, 67 Gears, says, I used to eat mine with cheese. Seriously, there we go. I'm not crazy. Oh, yeah, 100%. Oh, yeah, no, broccoli and cheese, great combo. But uh, that analogy was just, that was something. It's else. something that I, I don't think y'all expect. but it, it I didn't expect, I don't know if you expected it. I think it just came out. It was very, it was very it's just organic, of, as broccoli can be. Very organic, just like broccoli. Yeah, great, great tie in there. I mean, Mike, we've been working together how long now? Like four years? No, three. Well, three going on four. Let's not, let's not, let's not mix in too much. Okay. I say weird shit all the time. Oh, okay. out of pocket that was shit. A... Yeah, I'm not trying yeah. to extend it more exaggerated than what it is. <laughs> okay. Mike's used well, to hey, this. Here's what you I guys, know. If you guys aren't used to this, he's used to it. Here's what I know. We got a green-white checker on the way. 
We got we got oh, people yeah. out here who are hungry for a win. We need Brad Gut- Brad Gutierrez needs to make something happen. This is the time to make up some points on the forty five. Get your round start uh, off to a good start. Try to make up some points on the forty five. He's only so many points oh, out yeah. from that lead. That doesn't take that many points to get. Uh, you know, take a dent, make a dent into the, that points that we have. So, you know, if I were the eighty four, I'm right behind the guy I need to beat. I'm getting really aggressive oh. right here. I'm trying to make him uncomfortable. We'll see what happens. Yeah, giving him a little bumper bang in there as we're getting ready for green flag racing. Matthew Weeks trying to make it two in a row. Van Drugman trying to make green, it green, 10 green. in one season. Brad Gutierrez trying to make this competitive. Green, white checkers for the Southern 250. Weeks. Like trying to hold it out front, the keeping them cheeks fresh. Vandermorel closing the door on Gutierrez. Coming to the That's white flag in a three and four. David Tuker, can he be a spoiler? for Matthew Weeks' back-to-back wins. White flag is out, and here we go. Final lap for the Southern 250. His name is Matthew Weeks. Now, Matthew Weeks, if he can go back-to-back here, it'll make sense. Great insight right there. Matthew Weeks, three wide in the back between Stroney, Rohr, and Rowan Meyer. Weeks taking the low side, took her to the high side around three and four. Your winner of the Southern 250 will be Matthew Weeks. Wow. What a race, man. What a finish. Connor Rose dead. That's okay. Connor That's Rose right. spinning out of four as he crosses the finish line. Look like, looks like he will end up 12th. Your insurance. top five is Matthew Weeks, David Tucker, Van Drugman, Justin Vandermeer, and Brad Gutierrez. Back-to-back wins for Matthew Weeks. Good for him, man. That's incredible. What a race. You know, once you get that first one of the season, it just, you know, it kind of sparks. It, they just they start flowing, just like cautions, precautions. We Wins breed wins. Breedable it is, wins he has. Matthew Weeks, your winner two in a row. We'll be right back in a moment with the Gears Cup Series post-race show right here on Casa de la Horseboat. Bringing it back in now for the Gears Cup Series post-race show powered by me and your mom.com. Again, looking on your screen right now is the unofficial race results for the Southern 250. Again, Matthew Weeks making it two in a row with David Tucker, Van Drugman, your top three. Justin Vanderbilt, Brad Gutierrez, Nathan Fuller, Justin Shoup, Travis Stroney, Stephen Gurley Jr., and Blake Schneider rounding out your top 10 and first one in the booth tonight is Van Trugman. You got a copy. I do, sir. I do. Van, welcome to the program tonight. You dominated, had the poll, dominated the race for the most part tonight, ended up in third. How are you feeling with your finish here? Came out alive. That's that's first mission. Came out alive. 
It sucks I didn't get the win, but you know I gotta look at that bigger picture. I wasn't trying to force anything de uh, aggressive. I wasn't forcing anything, but um, I feel like I might have had a shot um, if me and Burrell didn't get together. But I was I was awful in that cut. Like we were not gonna touch, and it propelled me up to the wall, and then then that's when we crashed. But after that, I was like, all right. This is Weeks' race to lose. Now, at the end of the race, I was trying to stay ahead of Brad. Not let him pass me, which... Mission accomplished, but... I mean, if the caution with Travis and... Ro I think it was Ryan Robert Fitzpatrick didn't come out. I was going to win the race. But he went green because I was good at the end on gas. I had a, like a six-second gap to the next guy who was on that same strategy. But, you know... Doesn't always work how you want it, but I'm just glad we came out alive and then we'll go to Bristol next week. Hopefully go win that and extend the points lead. Yeah, solid finish for you tonight. Anybody you want to give a shout out to? I mean, the like Weeks, Tooker, Burrell, they all raced clean for the most part, but it really wasn't his fault. I mean, it was a good race up front. It was a good race overall. And, you know, we'll run it back next week at Bristol. Fantastic. Well, I do appreciate your time, Van. Again, we'll see you next week for Bristol, the Bass Pro All Shops right. 250. I'll see you there. That was a 45 of Van Drugman. Let's get the four of David Tuker. David, you got a copy, sir. Yes, I do. Yes, Welcome I do. to the program tonight. You started 13th, ended up in second. How are you feeling after tonight's festivities? Feeling good. Um, you know, this is one of my favorite tracks. Uh, I I come here just and run really well. I feel like every time I, I especially in the long run, I I I really love long runs here. And I feel like we got a lot of those tonight. Um, just kind of start a little too far back to to really do anything with it. I felt like that first half of the run we were kind of playing catch up to Weeks and and Van up there. Those guys and and Ethan as well. We were kind of working our way up through the field. Um, but Van and Van and, and Weeks were really fast. They're always fast everywhere we go. But I'm sure. um, no, it was just a. Uh, a race of attrition honestly um heavy tire wear and and really not knowing um how to play the dirty air as well and and, and balance clean air too like that was the first time i've had um any sort of clean air like at any point uh was towards the end of the race um and i i thought i got him i faked him to the bottom going into three and, and tried to roll the outside on him but there was just not a lot not enough grip up there through entry and center and I got to him like at his quarter, like at exit, but it was already his corner. Like I wasn't gonna, wasn't gonna wreck him for it, and and that's one of my best friends right there. So, uh, pleasure to race him as always, but um, still happy with second regardless. Well, congratulations on a second place finish again. Started thirteenth, ended up in second. Can't can't pitch about that too much. Anybody want to give a shout out to? Um, yeah, every, all of my friends were that are racing with us: uh, Matthew Weeks, Ethan Burrell, uh, Trey Holmes. Justin Vernamero, um, plenty of other guys that I, I really want to come in. I want them to come in here and, and show what they got. Um, this is a really good field. It's usually pretty clean racing and, and very hard racing. Like um, Van's very fast. Uh, Brad Gutierrez is very fast. There's a lot of guys in here that are pretty quick. Nathan Fuller, a yeah. um, bunch of guys in here. It's it's a very competitive uh, top of the field. So it's it's definitely no joke. But um, no, yeah, all of our drivers, all of the admin, uh, especially you guys up in the booth. Uh, really love watching these races back, and I think this is probably going to be a good one, at least for the finish. So looking forward to watching this with you as well. Well, congratulations, Van. I do appreciate you taking the time to join us. And again, have a wonderful evening. Enjoy the weekend. Thank you, guys. You too. And that was the number four of David Tuker. And now bringing us back in with back-to-back -back wins, the number 11 of Matthew Weeks. This looks like this is a regular thing. Thank you for joining the program. You have won the Southern 250. Mike, Tristan, Tristan, I hope you got something planned for a question for them. But, Matthew, how are you feeling, my brother? Matthew. He's in shock. He, he won again in the Gears Cup He's in series. shock, and he left. So let's see. <laughs> Maybe we nervous. can get him back. I don't know if he was as Mike was having trouble, but I'm sure he's excited Back-to-back -back victories for the 11. We're going to give him about 20 seconds here to see if he can join us. But, Mike, Tristan, from what you saw tonight, what was your feelings about this race? Mike, I'm going to start with you. Well, I only saw so much of it, but um, it looked like it was a good race. Uh, it looked like uh, attrition was definitely a factor. 
um, you know, a longer race, 250, uh, you know, miles or whatever. Um, but I mean, it doesn't surprise me that Matthew Weeks came out victorious, you know, racing a lot with his, uh, you know, his, his affiliate teammates, at least, uh, in different leagues. So I'm not surprised that it was those two guys duking it out for the win there. Um, and right Matt is always has ended. very steady. Um, you know, if Burrell didn't get into that, that net code issue, I'm sure he would have been fighting for the lead as well. So good uh, to see, uh, the 11 victory lane again. He deserves it. He's, he, it's been a while since he won uh, before he won last week, obviously. So good to see they're coming uh, in droves now. Matthew, you got a copy? Yeah, I got you. There we go. We finally got him. Back-to-back wins, a regular thing for you. Matthew, how you feeling, brother? Uh, I'm feeling good. I lost a race here earlier in Elite in the Southern 500. So this is the one I Shit. wanted to win. It's one of my favorite tracks. So I just wanted to win tonight big time just because of the track. You had a good run here tonight. Towards the end of the race, Van Drugman looks like he faded a little bit. Do you think if he had a if he had a little bit more time, do you think he would have caught you, or do you think you were the best car on the track? Um, I think he was a little bit better than me. He, I was I was a second place car tonight. He was clearly the fastest car. I could I could keep up with him the first 25, 30 laps, and after that he had pulled away that first run, and then we had another, mm -hmm. that second long run we had, I was just trying to stay tucked up behind him, and then we had a caution, so never knew what would have, if we had another super long run, what could have come into play, because we yeah. when we had that one, we were offset on tires, so we couldn't really tell, so I think he was a better car tonight. I think if he didn't get no damage and everything played out, he probably would have won the race. Well, let's let's be fair now. You were a fast ass car too, brother. Like you were nothing to joke about as far as being competitive. Tonight you pulled off the victory back to back wins tonight. Anybody you want to give a shout out to um, as far as that goes? Uh, you guys in the booth, man. You you guys have a good time, and I enjoy all the broadcasts. Can't wait to go back and watch it later tonight. Uh, JV Designs, my buddy Justin Vandermeer, he was racing tonight. I ho hopefully he had a good run. I didn't look at the results, so. Shout out Tell to him. his he ass I need a horse boat team. scheme. I need a horse boat scheme. He needs to do it. All right. I'll let him know when I join in there in a minute. And then uh, <laughs> shout out to all my Pro Edge guys, Ethan, Tucker, Trey, you know, Justin, they're all there tonight. And Ethan and I, we battled out, and he got, I think he got tight and kind of wrecked at the end. So it was a good battle. Then shout out to Tucker right at the end. I thought he had me. So good run to him. and competitive. Hope everyone enjoyed Oh, yeah, he's always competitive everywhere. And shout out. Hope everyone enjoyed the show, man. It was a good race. Some cautions, but it's Darlington. It's tough racing there sometimes. And it was a good stuff. And shout out to everyone else that race. And let's tonight. be honest. Let's be honest. That was revenge for Talladega, was it not? What happened at Talladega? You, you got oh, beat by. He doesn't by even Tucker. know. Ricky Lake style. You got right beat here. by the four car at the line, remember? Oh, that's right. That's so. <laughs> A little I bit uh, different still... different roles this time. Reverse roles. I guess roles. it holds a little weight now, now that you think about it. But, yeah, congratulations, Matthew Weeks. Back-to-back -back wins in the Gears Cup Series in the playoffs, no doubt. Congratulations, brother. Hope you have a good weekend and celebrate that. All right, man. Thank you. Hope you all have a good weekend. You, you too. too. Congrats. Thank you. Again, Mike DeWalt in the booth, Tristan Acevedo, and Jeremy Beal. Next week, Bristol Motor Speedway. Second to last race of the year, I am just, I'm blown away. And I, I, I've said this before, Mike and Tristan and Jeremy, I've said this before, I, I can't believe that we're near the end of the season. Like, we're already here. Um, it's kind of sad that we're, we're heading into the winter. Yeah, yeah this, my dad and it's always Bristol, says, baby. Uh, <laughs> yeah, my dad always says, time flies by when you're having fun. And man, it's been a fun season, fun to watch, fun to race. And, man, tonight... It was perfect for what Gears is. It showed exactly what Gears is made of, of just drivers who will never give up and just keep on fighting until the very end. Just really good racing and yeah. a really good finish there. No complaints had by myself. I had a great time. Looking forward to Bristol. And then in two weeks from tonight, the finale. I'm saying that. The finale here at Las Vegas. Brayton Laster in the booth. We'll announce the holiday series and get revved up for the winter season. For Jeremy Beal, Tristan Acevedo, Mike DeWalt, I am Tom Torrey. Wishing you a wonderful evening. See you Monday night for the Donut Box Cup Series. And if you don't watch that, we'll see you on the next one. Have a good evening and enjoy the wonderful weekend ahead. This is the Gears Cup Series right here on Casa de la Horseboat.